Thousands Tennesseans were displaced or faced extended power outages after a series of powerful tornado storms ripped through the state over the weekend, destroying hundreds homes and killing at least six people, including a mother her toddler, in Tennessee, where at least two tornadoes touched down on Saturday. Devastation caused by the storms led officials in some of hardest-hit areas to declare a local state of emergency, open shelters for displaced families and announce school closures on Monday. More than 17,000 homes and businesses were without power Monday morning in the state, where early temperatures were below freezing and expected to remain below 50 degrees throughout the day. In Nashville, a local utility estimated it could take days to restore power to some people, while Clarksville residents were told it could take weeks. Hendersonville and parts of the Nashville suburb Madison were hit by a tornado that gained wind speeds of 195 miles per hour. According to the National Weather Service, a single tornado traveled approximately 43 miles from the Clarksville area in Montgomery County to Logan County, cutting a path of destruction through both counties. According to the National Weather Service, local districts announced schools were closed Monday in Sumner County and through Tuesday in Montgomery County. Clarksville Mayor Joe Pitts told CNN that crews began clearing neighborhoods Monday morning and officials were preparing shelters, food trucks and mobile shower units for residents who needed them. Pitts said he was surveying the damage Sunday. There is no adjective in the dictionary to describe what we saw yesterday morning. Three people in Madison when high winds crashed a Mont's mobile home into another home. The man. 37-year-old Joseph Dalton, his neighbor Floridima Gabriel Perez, 31, and his son Anthony Elmer Mendez, 2. Wanda McLemore, who lives next door to mobile homes, told CNN affiliate WTVF that after the storm, neighbors came out of their homes and began frantically searching for mother and child. When their bodies were finally found, Perez still had her son in her arms they couldn't find her because she was holding him, covering him, protecting him, McLemore said of the mother and child who fought back tears. Three more people in Clarksville, where 150 mile per hour winds carved a path more than 18 miles long and left hundreds of severely damaged buildings in their wake. Authorities said, among the dead was 10-year-old Arlen Burnham. He was rescued from the wreckage by family friend Billy Urban. His father, Kyle Burnham, told CNN, A very valuable friend of ours was the first to arrive at the scene. He was able to dig Arlen and our daughter Ella out of the carnage, Burnham said. We owe a huge debt to Billy Urban for reacting so quickly. If it wasn't for him, Ella might not have been with us. Burnham said Arlen could brighten anyone's day with his smile. He was knowledgeable about everything from sports to history. Burr.